Hello, my country people. Welcome back to the news. Yes, we've seen so many politicians going in and out of the Azorok Villa. So many ex-governors have been trooping in and out. They've been visiting the president. And we tend to look at this, their visits. At some point, we know that they are looking for something. They are just trying to make themselves known by, you know, going to the presidential villa and gracing uh, Tinibu, you know, trying to meet with him, discuss with him. Meanwhile, we know that uh, in one way or the other, they are lobbying for appointment, majority of them. We've seen the likes of uh, Nyeson Winke, the G5, Asari Dokubo, others. Most of them are just the ex-Nigerian governors. They are just going to Tinibu's presidential villa, trying to look for appointment. But then Femi Falana have sent a strong warning to President Tinibu that several people have been visiting him in the Also Rock Villa. And those people coming there have an ongoing corruption cases. So he shouldn't send wrong signals. Falana tells Tinibu, Hi guys, welcome back to the news. If you're joining us for the first time, you're very much welcome. I sincerely appreciate your presence. Kindly subscribe and please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Let's quickly hit the news and get the full details. The human rights lawyer Femi Falana San has said that several high-profile politicians with looting case in court have been visiting the presidential villa and dining with President Bola Tinibu. Falana, who asked the president to refrain from sending the wrong signal, noted that people accused of corruption and whose cases were before the Economic and the Financial Crimes Commission or the Independent Corrupt Practice Commission should not be appointed to a position of authority. The senior lawyer made this known during the Are Affair Babalola's 60th anniversary at the bar, appealing to the president and his government to show leadership. He explained that the president of the forefront of an anti-corruption agenda, Nigeria should take its rightful place in the community of nations as the largest concentration of black people on the earth. He said, some of those who are going in and out of the villa, he are standing trial for looting the treasury of this country. So, wrong signals must not be sent to our people and the international community. The president and his government should show leadership right now. We are in trouble as a people and we don't need further troubles. There is somebody here who was our president. If you were accused of corruption and your case was before the EFCC or the ICPC, you won't be appointed to be a person or to be in position of authority. We must go back to that era. God has blessed everybody. God has blessed my family, Mrs. Tinibu had said. And we don't need the wealth of Nigeria to survive, but to do the right thing. That's what she said. And now my country people, Femi Falana had, you know, given his own advice. At the event, the former president, Olusego Obasanjo, was among several other dignitaries, including the Oni of Ife, the Adeyeye of the Ogunwasi, the former Commonwealth Secretary General, Emeka Ahoku, who attended the event. So guys, what are your thoughts on this? Because Femi Falana has really warned Tinibu. In fact, he has given him an advice that please, 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 he shouldn't send wrong signals. Other bodies are watching international bodies foreign bodies they are watching so he has noticed that there are some people that have been visiting the presidential villa and those politicians are standing trial for looting the treasury of this country so please tinibu shouldn't send wrong signals you know to nigerians to international community the foreign bodies because we are already in a big trouble in fact we are facing our own crisis as you know people as nigerians in this country we shouldn't add more to it and then recently we've noticed that 
some ex-governors have been visiting the president. We've seen Ayo Fayo say, you know, the former governor of Ekiti State, who we know has a current pending, you know, case with the EFCC. He has been going in and out of the presidential villa. Some have said, well, he's lobbying for appointment. Others said, well, he's just going there to show himself. But then we see the G5. And amongst the G5, we have uh, Samuel Autumn, who was being quizzed recently by the EFCC. And now we get to see other ex-governors. Majority of our politicians going to the Asorok Villa that we've seen or we've known, they are ex-governors. So we are saying, okay, these guys are looking for appointment, but there are so many other things they may be looking for that we don't know. So Femi, Fal uh, Femi Falana is just trying to set things right so people won't get, you know, another interpretation of their visit to the presidential villa. Now, recently, we've noticed something that criminals are being released from prison. Talking about Abakari. Abakari, who have been in prison since last year, now he is to be released soon. The Nigerian court have made an order that Abakari is to be released. Now, talking about Senator Waboshi. Waboshi, who is an APC chieftain, an APC senator, but then he was convicted of some corruption cases, you know, also stealing huge amount of money, bribery and corruption. He was charged, you know, to court and then they sentenced him to, you know, prison. And now we've seen that Waboshi is to be released too. All these are happening just, you know, a few months after the inauguration of President Bola Admet Tinibu. So guys, what are your thoughts on this? I really know that... Uh, Femi Falana have really given a very good advice to the president. So guys, I'm dropping here. Kindly share your thoughts on this in the comment section. Thank you. Bye for now.